Hello, I'm going to try and explain to you now how an accelerator pump works on a Delorto carburetor. So here is the carburetor body and I've taken the accelerator pump unit off here. So you're all familiar with the float bowl at the bottom and the fuel inlet. And what you have here is a feed that comes up the side and comes out of this little brass port here. And what this does is this then feeds through a cast section like this and I'll explain that in a little bit more detail and it feeds into this into a cavity here and then before I put the carburetor down I'll show you the other side of it so it comes the fuel comes into here and into this area here and is pumped down through that other brass port and it then feeds down through here past this device which actually if you look inside I think you can probably see it in here you'll see at the bottom there is a um, a a small brass plunger and the brass plunger is where the fuel gets squirted out of when the pump is activated now in the slide on the slides the throttle slides that go up and down in, inside of the section here there is a ramp and a piece of plastic with a little um, um, raised section on it and as you raise the as you raise the, uh, uh, the throttle slide it then pushes out through here it pushes out through the top of it and activates the piston on the other side of the accelerator pump. So the accelerator pump itself is, is formed of a number of parts. The first is this section here, which is the diaphragm. And uh, you can see it's also got a, a sprung section on the top of it there. And this is the part that is activated by the knob on the, the throttle slide. Behind it is a spring. And the spring then fits in to this cavity here so that all goes together like that and what happens is the fuel will be then when the plunger is depressed it then forces the fuel back through this side and out there so the fuel actually comes in through this port here and as if you remember earlier on the other car which had a, a little brass plug and it comes into the into the cavity through a hole at the top i think you'll probably just see the, the hole at the top so it then fills the space in here obviously i need to get that clean before i put it back together um the important part is that there is a non-return valve here because when the throttle when the plunger is depressed like that you don't want the fuel being pumped back down into the uh, into the float bowl you want it pumped into the carburetor so you want it not to go back down this side, but you want it to go back this side. So there's a non-return valve here. It's very, very, very small. I don't know if you can see the unit itself, but there is, if you can see throughout the hole, there is actually a very, very small spring and a really, really small ball at the end of it. And that allows the fuel to come through into this section, up here and into the section through a port on the outside. So basically the fuel comes in and it comes up here but it can't go back down because this valve sits in there. So it's important that that valve works because if it doesn't, all that'll happen is that when the accelerator pump is activated, it just pumps fluid back into the carburetor. If it's blocked, the vacuum won't be able to pull the fluid up into the diaphragm space. So let's check that that thing, that that works. Um, you can do that by just getting a small, um, a small piece of wire. We just trying to find one in the garage. And I don't know if I'll be able to show it to you here, but there'll be a very, very small, movement on the ball and you can just see the spring moving ever so slightly so i know that that works so that gets screwed into the top of there there is an o-ring around the top of it just to make sure there's no um, air leakage so that screws into there without any problem um, when you put this together it's important to put the spring behind the diaphragm so it goes like this so you have the spring and then you have the diaphragm make sure all the ports portholes in the right place and then you have the gasket that goes on top of that and then it gets bolted onto the carburetor using three screws um, the next part to, to look at is this section here and it is basically an adjuster uh, so you've got a, a, a central threaded section with a screwdriver head on the top of it and then you've got a lock nut on the side of it the idea here is that it acts as a backstop so that when this piston when the diaphragm is pushed in it only goes a certain distance 
So if you have the lock stop pushed, screwed all the way out like this, you'll have a large capacity of fluid because the piston will be able to travel a long, a long way. If you have this, it screwed all the way in, so that protrudes a lot, then this piston will not be able to move so much. So effectively this controls the amount of fluid that accelerator pump uses. But it is important to make sure, first of all, that your check valve works, that all of these ports are clear. So when you blow in through this port here, you expect it to come out of, come out of that little hole, that port there. And likewise, if you blow in through this port here, this port here, this one here should be connected to there. You have to put your thumb over the top of it and make sure you've got connections. If you don't, you will not get fluid flowing into here and then being pumped back down into the carburetor. Hope that makes sense.